Hey guys, I'm gonna try to do a real quick overview of MTHFR and what methyls do. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this real short. You might have to go watch some of my other videos to understand a little bit more of what I'm talking about, but I think as you watch some of these, it'll start making a bit more sense and this'll uh, eventually get a little bit easier. So we're looking at methylation, which is um, almost like a battery charger inside the core uh, biopathways of our metabolism. Uh, MTHFR is just sitting down on the corner here and it's activating folate and sending it over to something else that then combines it with uh, B12 and recycles homocysteine back into more protein so the system can go around again. That sounds like a bunch of blah 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 but I'm going to show you it's actually pretty simple real quick. So when we digest our protein and B12 and all that with our stomach acid we send protein into this methylation system and it's combined with magnesium and ATP to make SAMe. SAMe is sent over to our biopterin where we work on our dopamine and our melatonins and all that stuff, and serotonins. That comes back as SAH. Now it's homocysteine. Homocysteine can be recycled back into protein through this BHMT gene through our betaine, choline, and glycine. Or it can go through this MTR gene, which depends on our MTHFR for methylfolate and our B12 for whatever form you want to look at that as, because B12 gets stripped down from methylcobalamin back into it. And uh, we send that back to protein to go around again. If we're not doing that, we are not running this wheel properly, and we're not able to run the rest of the system properly. If the rest of the system is not able to run properly, this wheel is not running properly, which is something that is unfortunately being largely missed, and it's causing some people to look at this slightly backwards. So... We have a system that is in that is not in demand of these things because of whichever nutrients are behind. This system is full of product. So we've got a bunch of SAMe here that's going over there. We don't if there was demand, we wouldn't have, you know, shelves stocked with it. They'd be empty or conveyor belts or whatever. And this thing is just loaded up with this stuff. So if we were to connect our methyls right here, the supplemental container of methyls into the system, all it's going to do is pump more methyls that we don't have a demand for. And the speed that our system is running at on its own is based on what our cells are telling other cells in our system what we need or don't need. If we start overriding that with supplementation of an active form, we might be overdoing something. This could be why people start to notice anxiety and restlessness and other issues from methyls and they might not even realize it because they went to the doctor and the doctor said they have MTHFR and you need to take methyls. Now the this idea is potentially slightly outdated, slightly misguided, I'm not sure but I'm just trying to express how I see it because I have MTHFR gene mutations and I don't focus on them with methyls and when I did take methyls I started having all types of anxiety and inability to sleep and panic and all types of stuff. And it's not enjoyable. It took me a while to figure it out. And uh, I see other people going through the same thing and not figuring it out right away. Another issue that we run into with methyls is what if we're not able to uh, digest enough protein, convert it into enough SAMe, and our system is just everything is on low demand because we have so many deficiencies somewhere that this machine's not running. If we don't have this system loaded up with stuff to make these products that are now full on the conveyor system, then we might be able to make use of some methyls. Except let's make sure we're supporting the system the best we can first because if we're not getting enough folate in a proper form, not something like folic acid, an oxidized form that binds with the receptors and makes them get sticky and stuff. If we're not getting enough of that system, we're not running this BH2 to BH4 conversion that helps run our dopamine and all that stuff again. A lot of these pieces over here run off of the SAMe component and the BH4. So if folate's not running, we're not generating enough SAMe and we're not generating enough BH4. If we take enough methylfolate or methylcobalamin, we might be able to push that system past the speed that it wants to run at, make enough SAMe, but then we're kind of bypassing the BH4 situation most likely. So we kind of want to support it from the ground up with something like folinic acid or folate from food and B12 from bee pollen, honey, a non-methylated bee complex, pretty much any form that we can get this stuff in. I try to get as many forms as I can get my hands on, and I try small amounts of it, and I see how my body reacts to it. So 
there are times that methyls are great and there's times that it's not. And we can actually use how we respond to them to g gain a better idea of how our system's running. Because if we're not looking at all these other pieces and we're not trying to figure out why some of these really important ones are bound up and why our thyroid hormones aren't working properly and stuff, then you know we're, we're not going to figure out why our MTHFR is lagging out. Because in my opinion, this MTHFR gene mutation is happening on purpose because our body knows that the rest of these systems are so hindered by various toxicities and mutations that have been stacking up for generations. Um, Real quick, just to show you kind of how this works. Uh, some people get migraines when they drink wine. Wine is high in sulfites. It's kind of known that sulfites might be causing the migraines. Well, if we don't have molybdenum to feed this SUOX gene to break sulfites down into sulfates, uh, this backs up and we can't run our glutathione. And that means this system over here doesn't feed it with homocysteine, which means our methylation system is not getting the proper demand because the system's backed up and not running. So sometimes we look at these pieces individually instead of looking at how they fit into the whole system. And we are missing a lot of really important pieces. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have questions. I'll expand on MTHFR, methyls, whatever you have questions about. Please help share my videos. I can't do that because then it looks like I'm just self-promoting. And if you got a couple bucks, throw it into the coffee tip jar thing or buy me a coffee or whatever it is. I appreciate it. It goes a lot longer than you realize or further or something like that. Uh, let me know what we can do next and uh, catch you later. Thanks. Bye.